What's up guys, it's Jim with Awaken TCG, bringing you guys another One Piece card game video today. Today we are going to be looking at the blue and yellow ace list that won a flagship a couple days ago over in Japan. Um, this is the list right here, it is on firefist.gg, if you guys have not looked at firefist.gg, this is a fantastic website to look at some of the best deck lists. You know, if you've seen One Piece top decks, it has pretty much every deck list that's won, like a local and here and there. It's got a lot more decks to look at, but this is the website I go to when I want to look at decks in the East that are flagships and, you know, championship CS tournaments only. So these are going to be your big winners and give you a really good look of what is really good in the meta. And I think the fact that Ace won on here just shows you that this deck has a little bit of bearing in OPO7. Which is great because, not gonna lie, right now in EB, um, this leader's not great, uh, to be frank. Uh, I love this leader, but yeah, it's definitely not there yet, so glad to see this leader get a top. It's won a, a couple other flagships in the past, but this list looks like one of the most promising lists I have seen from the deck. And for that reason, I wanted to try it out today in the simulator. Um, it looks really fun, and I'm going to play this deck to the fullest. So, here we have the complete list thrown right into the simulator. I will have this also in the description if you just want to copy, copy paste it into the simulator for yourself. The only change I made for me is instead of those 2k Sanjis, I, sw I swapped them out for these 2k Flampes, which I think are just way more consistent. Um, the Sanjis are a bit too removable before they can actually do anything. Um, these also going second, uh, or sorry, going first would be really good because on 3 Dawn you can use leader effect and draw two. So Really good card in this deck, and I honestly would probably rather prefer it over Sanji, so without further ado, let's get into the games. All right, and it looks like we are going to be going against Bonnie right now. I can't imagine this is a great matchup, um, just judging by the fact that Bonnie pretty much can rest anything every turn, and I want to use my little, uh, I want to basically play out the five class from life before I swing with leader. Which makes it a little awkward because say it's a rush ace he's going to be able to rest uh the ace for free or the leader for free it, it's just not a good look um and he's actually playing baby five so a bit of the don quixote packer package is pretty interesting looks like we got the five cost ace i'm guessing this is better to grab than the five cost luffy so we are going to add that to hand remember guys i am no expert on this deck um, I have played a lot of Blue Yellow Ace this set, but as for OPO7 with new cards like this new Ace, Boa, stuff like that, I wouldn't say I'm the most experienced with. But we're gonna just have fun with this deck today and do what we can for sure. So odds are he probably leaves one up, so I just can't get a free swing into this Baby 5 with Garp. He drew the Acos Rosanante as well, which is honestly a really good card. And yeah, he's gonna leave two up. He's not even gonna attack which I find to be kind of weird. So we're gonna put two on lead. Um, let's see if we hit, we do hit a Luffy. So we're gonna add that to hand and most likely throw this ace in there because you know, just get a little bit of the brick out of hand. So we'll swing seven at this. Um, obviously he can't counter out of that. He can rest Garp if he wants for free. But do we really care? The answer is no. Uh, he's really thinking about counter out of this one. When there is not really anything to think about there. Uh, I'm literally 6k over your attack. Yeah, you're not counting out of that. But he doesn't even use leader effect. That's wrong. You should always use leader effect there. Might as well rest Garp, right? I'm not going to attack with him. I have two Dawn left. And then from here, we have the Luffy in hand. So we're going to play that out, get this guy on the board, and buff the leader. So... Could have done that before, but obviously I did not want this Luffy to be rested if we can help it. Um, and with a 7k leader, he probably wasn't swinging into lead anyway, so I don't want to give him a better target. That's basically the thought process there. And next time we're probably just going to swing big and play Pudding, if I had to guess. He'll play the Dish um, with two Dawn up. If he wants to actually attack me, he has to attach both, which means he would not get leader effect, and I'm assuming he doesn't want to do that. So, because of that, uh, he's just going to pass, alright. And I think, with 5 life still, I'm just going to pop this with Godatsu. So we'll go ahead and pop that, 
And then from there, we'll just swing seven with Luffy. Better than swinging uh, with leader here because he's just gonna rest leader anyway. Keeps leaving two Dawn up. I mean, I mean that turn it made sense because attaching one didn't do anything there. So he's gonna rest Godatsu, not leader. Now that's kind of interesting. I, I don't know if I agree with that. Um, like I get you can swing into it now, but you'd probably rather swing into Luffy anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely would have rested leader there if I was Bonnie. And if he takes this, we're definitely dropping pudding next turn. But no, he's actually going to counter out of that. And a back on us. Um, so the thing is here, six Dawn, he's going to drop a Bonnie. He's doing really low committal plays, which isn't all that great for him, honestly. Um, next turn, if I whiff leader effect, I could really just do Hiori into one of these aces. Probably this one, because uh, this one just doesn't get rush. So he will grab the Basil Hawkins. Uh, a little too late to play that now. You have five Dawn left, and then he will Bonnie. He, I don't think he can Bonnie leader. It's only characters. So he'll freeze Luffy, which is fine. Um, we could even, if we wanted to, use Luffy effect. Uh, oh, it's only if your life is it two or less. Okay, yeah, let me not throw the game. That would be a pretty good idea here. And this turn, honestly, I think we're just going to play Boa. So he has no Donna. So we're going to go six, and we're going to go seven, and then we're just going to play Boa. Bottom deck Bonnie and keep this one from swinging. That sounds like a pretty good turn to me. I could do something like uh, Leader Effect plus 3,000 Worlds, but uh, I think Boa is way, just way better. Getting an AK on board is just going to be more worth it. And I, I honestly, I was a bit iffy on the 3,000 worlds, but now that I'm playing the deck, I get it, right? Um, I was running Gravity Blade in my old ace list, um, but it just ended up being awkward, right? If I'm at 10 Dawn and I want to use Leader Effect uh, plus a Gravity Blade, it just doesn't really work, um, unfortunately, because I had one Dawn left over after that, right? Two for Leader, seven for Gravity Blade. It just doesn't make any sense, unfortunately. Um, he's still not attacking me, I've realized. Um, and I don't know why, honestly. Is he, like, trying to starve me? Uh, this is a new strategy that we've never seen before. And at this point, we are probably just going to swing eight with Boa. Start putting the pressure on. And if he takes too many cards into hand, we will, uh, go ahead and putting that for him. Luffy cannot KO anything in this deck. Uh, he can KO a Rouge, which is cool, but like that isn't the best play of all time. So he doesn't rest leader, which means we're definitely doing this. Looking at top five, we get a five cost, which is good. We'll actually just Hiori that one out for an ace. Um, we probably want to do the blocker ace here. And then from here, we will do ace over the Hiori. Let's take him out. Um, ooh, it's pretty good. So since we have the ace here, we'll keep this in hand and we'll make sure this is still in deck by next turn. So at this point, we're gonna use our last four Dawn on Pudding or we could use it on 3000 Worlds. We'll see based on if he takes or not. Um, but we wanna put back this because it has no counter and then we wanna put back, oh, I actually messed up. Whoopsie. I was supposed to put back ace first. That was a bit of a misplay, but obviously that wouldn't happen in real life. It's a bit, a bit more seamless in real life. So we'll go nine at lead. And then if he takes, we'll just pudding. Yep. And that's going to be a pudding. And then we'll swing another six at lead. And at this point in time, he is in a rough spot. His board is pretty decent. But um, so he did draw a 2k. Because if he didn't there, he was in a really rough spot. He would need to go down very low on cards in hand and or, or, or just take a life. And at this point, playing that, you are kind of dead. So he can attack anything. Um, and he has no Dawn up for leader effect. He can attack sixes into these guys. But yeah, I do I have enough counter to get out of all these. I do not. 
So we'll just resolve attack, get no value from this Bonnie. And probably just go for game next turn, truly. Because his board's a bit scary, to be frank. I'm actually going to counter out of that one. Rather not deal with that. Um, and then from here, we will go... What's our max swings here? Three on pudding, we got seven. Seven, seven. Nine. Five on pudding, we have nine. Nine, ten. Let's see if he's got it. We, I mean, we got rid of his whole hand. He's already used three 2Ks this game. There's a pretty good chance he does not have it. And with nine, let's see what he's got. Um, he's thinking about it, which kind of makes me think he does have the counter. But maybe he, if he takes this, there's a chance he won't have the counter for the 10k swing. Or he's just stalling and wants to make me think he has the counter. That is also a strategy. Oh, no, he's going to actually completely counter out of that one. It looks like he just had the counter there, which means we will be, with no cards in hand, dropping ace here and winning next turn. So there it is, start placing top. We have a rush ace. He'll have to attack into life, and then we'll put this here just because we don't want a no counter card in hand. And pass to him. Uh, with five swings, every single one of these needs to hit in order to win, and I have two blockers up. So realistically, that's just not happening. Um, I, don't know, I don't know why he wasn't attacking me all game. That was a bit of a troll. I don't think the Star Bonnie strat is really what you want to go for. Um, he's going to deploy Bonnie. Uh, not sure why he's going to play that. Oh, he searched with it. He will grab a blocker, so that does give him an out next turn. But with Rush Ace here, the odds that he can actually kill me are very low. So he can swing into Boa and get rid of that. That's fine. Again, I have, I have Aces here that um, can actually counter out. So he'll go 10. Actually, yeah, I'm going to counter out. And then, because I'd rather have Boa than anything else, honestly. And he looks like he's swinging 6 with Law. He's probably into Pudding, if I had to guess. I will give him Pudding. And then at this point, he can attach one and swing a boa. That's a bit risky because if I had a 2k, he'd be completely screwed. Um, but he has to leave one Dawn up. There's absolutely no doubt about that. So he'll go eight. Um, at this point, I'm not getting the rush ace off. So I'm just going to give him the 1k. And his, his biggest swing here is obviously with Bonnie. He can go eight, but he's actually not going to swing with it. So in that case, we are going to go eight. He has to block or take. Uh, Bryce used leader effect here as well. He can rest one of my aces. That's fine. At this point, we have game guaranteed. There's literally no way to him, for him to get out of this. So he takes. No trigger. Uh, we only need seven here. But we can just go nine, I guess. I mean, it doesn't actually matter. We'll go nine. He will take the block. And then the rest on lead. Yippee. So I don't know why he wasn't attacking me. Maybe because I'm yellow, he's like scared of a, of a yellow trigger? I, I really don't understand his playstyle of that game. Like, I had no triggers in life. Um, GG, unfortunately, I'm going to run it to the next player. And next up here, we've got an RP Law. So with five of my brothers in hand, I'm definitely going to mulligan that. You want to see those in the top. Uh, beautiful hand there. We get the Flampe which means we can actually play this out next turn and draw two, always very nice. He'll drop the raise max on one, not bad for him. So we'll go seven to lead here. He will obviously take, I don't really think there's a scenario where you counter out that, uh, that attack there. And then we actually get a 2K, which we will take every single time. We will return that flampe, take it to hand and draw a card. So. That's why we run this. Um, I like it more than the Sanji. It, it's obviously more consistent, easier to use. Uh, and you can play it on your odd curve on the first turn. So that is why I like Flampe. Just really good here getting that card advantage right off the bat. And from here, 
Let's see what we get this next turn coming around. Um, if he like plays a Rage this turn and goes back up to seven, I'll probably play a Pudding or something. Um, he'll go five. We're always going to counter out of a five. Oh, looks like he's not going to go five. He's going to play a Bon Clay and go six. So we'll use that Satori that we just got to hand. Um, no reason to take that, I don't think. And he'll play a Beppo. So putting on the pressure already. Right now, um, see, we could do like, we could play an ace, honestly. I think that might be the play. Just play the 5-7, make it uh, not easy to remove. Only thing with that is I give this Bong Clay something to use. So for that reason, I think I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna look at the top five here, get the Luffy. That's always nice. So we're gonna do this and then play this Luffy out. Um, and we're gonna make him remove it. And then he's gonna have to take this attack as well. I could have like used Luffy effect uh, to make him an AK and a lot harder to remove, but I think that would have been pretty troll um, because, you know, RP Law is an aggro deck after all, so taking your own life is not the best idea. But uh, making yourself a 7k against RP Law every turn is definitely a good thing. Uh, he should have swung with Bon Clay first if he was planning on attacking with it. Um, because now this is a 3k and this does nothing. So he'll go 7-7. Seven to seven. We'll give him a 1k counter off rip there. Uh, that doesn't do anything. His Beppo didn't even ramp him. He shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll take an 8, sure. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I think we're going to use this trigger here. Yeah, uh, we just want a body to be able to attack back in the board. And then, you know, this gives him a target to use, but I'm a 7k leader, so it actually doesn't matter. we will do the Shachi Pen. Yeah, he should have done first before he attacked, I think, but that is all right. Um, and from here, let's go two on lead. If we whiff, we have the Flampe in hand. Um, so, question is, what do we want here? Um, I think I'd rather have this ace in hand, truly. Yeah, so I'll add you to hand. Um, then we do the flampe and we do the 3000 worlds. Sounds good to me. So we'll go five here. See if he takes. Uh, he knows another big swing is coming in, but I guess he just doesn't care. He is, let's see if he counters out of this. If he counters out of this, he's definitely trolling. Um, we'll do flampe, take ace to hand. Draw another two cost ace, that is fantastic. And then from there, we'll bottom deck the Bon Clay, because it's definitely a little bit bigger of a threat. When I start getting my 6Ks on board, you know, it's it's better than a 5K at that point. Uh, at this point in time, it was, it was still just a 5K, because we have a 5K, but um, obviously you can get stronger later. So who do Queen and Gordon? Probably going to minus here and play out something like maybe a Kin Killer. I honestly am not sure. Or maybe even a Reiju to draw more cards. Reiju is so good in this deck. He's actually gonna trash a Kin Killer. That makes me think he has more than one in hand. Um, or that he's very bricked up. Because usually you're getting rid of that because you have no counter in hand, or you're getting rid of that because you have too many of the same Kin and Killers in hand, which just aren't really doing anything for you. Um, he's gonna go five at lead. Uh, going five at lead and not at this, I, I mean, I guess he's, um, I guess he, uh, yeah, I'm not going to put him in kid and killer range, so we're going to counter out of that one as well. And he's going to bottom deck that. There's the Shariah, interesting card there. And even if we whiff here, we actually have the Hiori and Ace, so... That is really strong. We'll peep the top five, but we do get the ace, which is very, very nice. Um, so let's go ahead and play you out. Um, we'll deploy, and then from these guys, we will start placing... Huh. Because the only thing with this, right, is this means I'm not drawing a two cost next turn. So I think I'm going to start placing bottom. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna start placing bottom, and I'm gonna put you to the bottom, and I think I'm gonna put you to the bottom. All right. 
And then Shrine's a bit annoying, and I think I want to play this Luffy out, so... Oh no, he only actually comes out if... Uh... Okay, he doesn't actually take a life. Okay, let's, so let's just go ahead and swing 9 here. See if he gives, or if he would rather do the cheeky Shiraya block, which he's going to go for. This card is, like, probably the best card against this deck. And then from there, we'll play you out. And then we have something to do next turn with this guy. So two life, not a whole lot of cards in hand. Four Dawn up. He's definitely very reliant on a Ragey right now. I don't think he should have got rid of Ace. He should have got rid of Luffy. It's definitely more of a threat right now. Because um, I could just swing with it. You know, get rid of it. Kill anything I want. But I get he doesn't want me to block. But you're going to have to do something with your Dawn before then. Or I'm just going to block it anyway. Is the only thing. Um, I also am a 7k. You're going to have to attach some Dawn to hit me. So if he doesn't have a 3 Dawn play right now, he's kind of just sitting dead. right? And he can't remove this without doing leader effect as well. Probably in an awkward spot if I had to assume. Especially if he has some kidding killers in hand like I was assuming he does. Because right now, they, they can't even swing 7k at this. They're going to be playing and swinging for 5 which is not hitting me. Oh, but he's going to go for it anyway. Um, doesn't want me to block with it, and he's going to ramp, and now he cannot swing with any of these. So, interesting play from him there. We're definitely going to 3,000 worlds this. Um, we will be going with the 7k to leader. Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll do 7k. We'll take... Peak top five, we get an ace, I think is our only grab here. We probably want ace, right? You know, I think I'm gonna do a flampe over Hyori. So we'll do ace, yep. And then we'll swing at nine. He'll probably do a Shariah block, that's fine. Shariah 1k me, if you dare. Get another card out of your hand, thanks. And then we do flampe, take ace, and draw another card. So, Pretty solid there. Um, this Luffy still hasn't done what I need him to do. And he gets another raise max. Um, that's fine, I guess. Uh, we'll actually give him the 1k here. Goes another 5. We'll have to take. And then if he has double kid and killer right now. Oh, wow. He will go very large into leader. Um, this puts my rush ace online, which is very nice, uh, and that's going to be a Sanji blocker. So he's going to completely block her up, and by removing my board, he is putting me in a spot where I can't really do what I want. So what I think I'm going to do, we're going to look at the top here. We find the ace, which is very nice. So we'll put you here. We will do Hiori, I think, to heal one. I think that's what we want to do. Yeah. Take this. And then put a no counter card that I'm not playing this turn like you to life. We will go seven at one of these guys. And then, you know, if he wants to do Shariah 1k, he can go ahead and do that once again. There it is. There's the Shrai 1k. And then from here, Shrai is also a 5k, so we'll just swing at Shrai. It doesn't make a difference. If he wants to give us the Sanji, he can, which is incorrect. Because Sanji's a 6k attacker. Shrai will only be a 5k. There it is. And yeah, he trolled with that one. So I guess at this point, he's just praying we don't have counter. There's another five, we'll give him a one. And now he needs three swings to hit, and this needs to be a rush card. Okay, he'll go nine, and he'll probably swing an ace, so. We will have to give him that, we have nothing to use there. And we do get the Luffy. Two, three, four, so at this point we're just gonna kind of starve him out of cards here. We'll go five to five. This is an encounter, he's really screwed. You know, a little bit of an awkward turn, but this is really just what you have to do. So he's going to have to think about that one and realize that his board is cooked. He will take, we'll go 5-5 five to five again. Go ahead and give me your counter if you want. I'm just going to swing. Uh, yeah, there you go. 
and then we put rest on here and we go seven. So yeah, you're gonna take that and you better have a rush card or this game is over. Um, or Rage You, Rage You saves you here as well. Uh, okay, he's gonna go five, we'll definitely just counter out of that one. At this point, it's gonna be really hard for him to win, especially when we have a 2K. We actually know this is a brick, which is the only thing, so. Our last life kind of needs to be a counter in some scenarios. Um, he's going to need multiple kid and killers right now to make a difference. Um, or a blocker, right? If, if he can't finish me, he's going to need another blocker. So he'll go five <laughs> into the flampe. I think that's a bit counterproductive. Uh, considering you're getting rid of one of your blockers. Oh, he has two more blockers. Interesting. So we will go here. Do we get a rush ace? No, we don't even get a five drop. Wow. Now that is tough. Um, okay. Um, knowing I have the boa here, I'm actually going to probably grab it and make one of his characters not be able to attack. But then I get rid of a 2k out of hand, which is a little rough. So in that scenario, I'm definitely just going to... Well, wait. What am I talking about? I just, I don't know, he has two blockers. Well, I guess if I make him get rid of both of his blockers, this is game as well. Yeah, so I'll go seven. Yeah, he's gonna do the, the thing. Uh, four, five, attach here. I'll go five at you. I'm gonna block with Chopper, which is probably the right play. Yeah, these Shariahs completely own this matchup. I needed the 5 cost Luffy's to get rid of them. He will go 5, we'll counter out of that. And at this point, if this is not a rush or a blocker, he loses. Um, well, actually, no, because if he keeps this standing, I actually can't get through once again. And it doesn't matter how big my swing is, because these guys can just match it. But however, now he has to attack into Hiori, if he right doesn't have one. We'll go seven, we will take. Looks like he can go seven, seven, if that's a kid and killer. Um, nope, it's another blocker, wow. He is being very skillful right now. Very skillful play from our friend here. Um, okay, that is a Luffy, very nice. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that. And we are going to get rid of that Shariah and draw. Yes, we will, yep, pop you, draw one. The ace there is pretty nice. And then we will swing big at this guy. And at this point it's rush or bust. We have a rush in hand. So if he drew a rush, you know, congrats, you're the better player. But uh, if you did not, uh, then you lose here. Yeah, and then double 2K, did you draw a rush? If you did, I concede you are him. You did not. GG. That was RP Law. We managed to squeak it out against an RP Law. And last but not least here, looks like we're going against Luchi. The GOAT will be the main uh, uh, leader I am playing next set. Uh, we'll definitely be dabbling in Ace though. So we're going to mulligan that hand. And looks like we get a pretty decent hand. Two five cost brothers and the starter isn't great. But we do have two of the two cost brothers, which is always good. And a Hiori in case we whiff using leader effect on our first turn. So putting putting him on one, yeah. If he gets the spandam, that's your best start. And he's going to draw this card. Very interesting. This is good against green. I like it removing uh, Hawkins. Because it is actually... Actually, one of your only cards that is um, able to remove Hawkins. Uh, he'll go eight. Yeah, we'll definitely take that with no trigger. And he should just pass back to us. There's nothing else this deck can do at this point in time. And with three three cost brothers in hand, we are looking pretty good right now. Not going to lie. Um, we unfortunately do draw into another one, which means obviously the... Uh, rate that our top five actually sees another one is pretty low, but fortunately we do see this ace I think that's probably the better option right now um, And then we'll go ahead and play that out uh, We'll deploy this 
and beautiful we draw into another two cost brother uh so question is what do we want to play next turn and it's probably this luffy so i'm gonna put him back first and uh yeah we're gonna put him back first and then we're gonna put back mm, we'll just put back the ace because he's no counter and we'll swing nine so that's a good thing about this card is not only can you put five drops from your hand back to the top uh, that you were never going to see at the top because they're in your hand, uh, you're able to draw into these two cost cards that you weren't going to draw into. So really great addition to this deck that buffed it by a lot. Um, so hopefully at this point we can draw pudding. This is why you run pudding in this deck. It's because you're swinging big every turn and they're getting big hands. Pudding immediately reverts that. That's why we run a four of in this deck. But does not look like we're drawing it. We know we're not drawing it next turn, at least. Um, he does get the Ineos Lobby, which is one of the best cards to have in these scenarios. He's going to swing eight. That is going to be a very, very easy 2K with Satori. And he will pass back to us. So we draw ace. We knew we were going to draw it. And we know we're going to see a Luffy in this top five. Um, but let's see if we see a better option. So we do see the ace. Which, honestly, maybe I like more. Um, TBH, to be honest. Maybe I like the Ace more. Yeah, we'll go with Ace. Um, return those. We will play out the two cost to play out this guy. There are two more Rush Aces, uh, but we'll start placing top. Luffy first, so we know we get a Luffy next turn and one of these Aces. And then let's go ahead and swing... I think we'll just swing 8-9. We don't need this blocker up right now, to be honest. He's probably going to remove it anyway. He took the 8, wow, which, which probably means he needs to take this 9. So, we really want pudding right now. I don't think there's any doubt there. Unfortunately, we are not drawing it next turn once again. However, I haven't seen it once, which either means it's in our life or it, we're going to draw it soon. Um, we, we might put it to the bottom with the top 5, which would be a little rough. Which is why I like playing these out, because they just give me more draws, pretty much. Looks like he'll go 8 at this one. I think we're going to counter out of that. We'll go 2 and 1. Because odds are he's removing this one. Yeah, uh, with the event, that is fine with us. Leader effect once again. We see the Luffy that we knew we were going to see. I think I want to play this one, because if he does have a Rebecca, I can utilize it. So we are going to do that. Um, deploy him. We'll go 9. I think we'll just go 10 with this. Putting the pressure on, and if you do not drop a blocker, this is going to be game over for you. I do have Rush Aces in hand as well. Yeah, 9k you're going to have to start countering out of at this point, unfortunately, or you're going to go down to zero, and that is a big issue, especially when I have this guy, and I can get rid of the four cost you have if you do not remove him. So we'll go 10. That is three 2k, sir. He's going to take that as well. Does not care about putting, and he is just going to forfeit. So, yeah, he didn't have really any 2ks that whole game. Yeah, this whole hand, he has no 2ks. That is rough, I'm not going to lie. And that is going to be the video, ladies and gents. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This deck is a lot of fun. I always have a great time every time I pull out this leader. OPO7, even more so. I don't think I got to do a whole lot of the new stuff that you can do with this deck. I didn't really get to utilize this new 5-cost Luffy, unfortunately. I did get to utilize the new 5-cost Ace, which I really like and I think fixes this deck's problems like a whole lot. Um, the boa in this list, I played it once, but I see the vision and I think it's really good. Um, it's one of your only quote-unquote removal in this deck, and the even curve is always going to be better, especially when you're on 10 Dawn and you're attaching to the lead and doing other weird stuff like playing a 2-drop, and then you have 6 Dawn left perfectly to play this card, right? Perfect card to play in that situation. Um, but yeah, really like this deck. A lot of fun. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed as well, and if you're looking forward to play Ace, as I said at the start of the video, I will have this list in the description to paste into the simulator. But that is going to be the video guys, thank you for watching, and if you're going to be looking forward to this deck in OPO7 as well, 
please leave a comment or let me know what other leader you're looking forward to and I will probably reply. But anyways, you guys have a great day. I'm going to head out of here. Peace.